Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how you can create Elphaba's makeup from the musical Wicked. So I'm going to show you the promotional poster makeup and I'm also going to show you how to do the Broadway rendition as well. So if you'd like to see how I created these looks, then just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a green face paint. Now this one is water activated, so just take a little bit of water on your foundation brush or your sponge, apply it to the face paint and then apply it to your face. So you want to remember that the more water you use with your face paint, the less opaque the face paint is going to appear on the face. Now a lot of the time with face paint you're going to have to layer it, so remember to let the face paint dry between each layer so it doesn't crack and go cakey. So it's a building process, you're just going to build up a few layers until you get the intensity you want. For this look you don't want any bare skin showing, so you're going to bring the face paint down onto your neck and you're also going to paint your ears as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this face paint. So I'm going to take a green eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this straight to my face. Now. If you find that using a small brush like this is quite time consuming, you can always take a large fluffy brush like a face powder brush and use this to apply it to the face. It's going to cover larger areas but I personally prefer to use a smaller brush to ensure that I get every area of the face. So face paint has an tendency to kind of mute out your brows, so you're just going to redefine them. So I'm just taking a black eyeshadow and with small strokes I'm just going to start to build up the colour. So to start off the eyeshadow, I'm going to apply a dark green eyeshadow into the crease. Now I'm going to be applying a black eyeshadow now in a couple of seconds. So the green is going to really help blend out the black and give us a nice smoky effect. So next I'm taking a fluffy blending brush with some black eyeshadow and I'm going to start to buff this on the outer portion of my eyelid. Now I'm taking a little bit of eyeshadow each time and I'm building up the colour. I'm building up the intensity because if you apply too much black eyeshadow on at once it can be quite hard to blend out. So I'm just using circular motions and windshield wiper motions to blend out the colour. Next I'm going to take a green pigment and I'm applying this on the remaining half of my eyelid. This is going to add a nice sparkle and shimmer to the look. I'm also going to apply this to the inner corner of my eyes to really brighten them and open them up. So for the lower lash line I'm taking that green eyeshadow first and then applying the black just because it's going to make the blending process a lot easier for us. Next I'm going to take that black eyeshadow and I'm just pressing it into the upper lash line. Now these kind of brushes are great for beginners because they do all the work for you. Just place it on the lash line and press the eyeshadow in and then move it along. So finally for the eyes I'm just going to apply a couple of coats of my favourite mascara. To contour I'm taking a mix of this green and black eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this in the most hollow part of my cheeks and I'm going to start blending it upwards as well. So with just applying the green face paint alone the face can look very flat so the reason we're contouring is to just give some definition back to the face so I applied it to my cheekbones and also to my forehead and along my jawline. Now along with receding areas of the face we're also going to highlight some areas. So I'm taking a white eyeshadow and I'm applying it to the areas that the light would hit my face naturally. So that's the top of my brow bone, the tops of my cheekbones and my cupid's bow. Also apply a little bit down the centre of the nose too. So to finish off the look I'm just going to put on my hat and for the Broadway rendition I'm just using a green eyeliner to fill in my lips. Then I'm going to add a pigment to the centre of my lips and this will complete the look. So now for the promotional picture I'm just going to apply a red lip liner and I'm going to fill in the entire lip with the lip liner because if the lipstick fades off during the night you're still going to be left with a nice stain. So just apply your red lipstick next and that's going to complete your promotional picture of the look. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please let me know in the comments box below and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video.